Hi, and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Jeremiah Santanetti. Today's scripture nugget is found in Psalms 73, verse 1 and 2. And then we're going to go to um, to verse 25 through 28. Psalms 73, excuse me, verse 2 and 3. And then we're going to go to verse 25 to 28. And I, my foot, had almost stumbled, for my steps had nearly slipped. For I was jealous of the proud when I saw the peace of the wicked. Now we're going to go to verse 25. And it says, Whom have I in heaven besides you? I desire none on earth. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, those who are far from you you sh uh, who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who go lusting away from you. And I, it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in Jehovah God to declare all your works. You know, this psalm is interesting because, um, well, first they say that it was written by Asaph or David given to Asaph to play for the people. And what's interesting is that this psalm gives us a picture of a righteous person who's doing good, but then at one point takes his eyes off God and looks at the world, looks at the unrighteous. And he became jealous because he saw that the unrighteous were prospering and that they looked good. They even died and looked good. And he began to become jealous. And then at one point he says, I have washed, you know, surely I have washed my hands in innocence or I became pure for nothing. Well, here in this particular Psalms, he begins to speak about God and how God sees them. And then he says, until I walked into your sanctuary, then I saw their end. You see, it's real easy for us to take our eyes off of God and put it on the things of the world. And people who we look, they're prospering, they have better cars than we do, better homes than we do, better clothes than we do. They seem to be going out more and partying more than we do. And see, we're not called to that. The Bible tells us that this is not our home, that we're pilgrims passing through. And so we need to be very careful to guard our hearts because we might slip and fall. But the question was simple. Who do I have in heaven besides you? There is none that I desire on the earth. God has to become our total desire that there is none beside him. Can you imagine that? Nothing else beside God. When we look at our lives, does our life match up with that? I have nothing on earth beside you. In other words, everything that we have, when we compare it to God, is nothing. You see, our home is in heaven. Our rewards are in heaven. And we're going to be so much more happier than we are here and much more joyful because our joy will be full when we be with Jesus. And so he said, I was like a beast before you. And see, God, God knows our heart, but he also sees what we do. And people see what we do. So we need to be very careful that as Christians, believers in Christ, we have to walk in righteousness and not put our eyes on the things of this world. You know why? It makes us weak makes us frail and we begin to question have I been walking as a Christian so long and trying to purify my life for nothing look at them they look good they have so much more than I do they prosper even more than I do well you know what in this psalm it also says that like a like someone that is sleeping and wakes up from a dream that when God comes or rather when he's awake in other words he says they will be like a dream. It just disappears, right? When you wake up, the dream is no more. And they will be no more because God's judgment will fall upon them. But when you walk into God's sanctuary, even this Sunday, I hope when you go to church, you'll see the blessedness of being in God and being with his people and being able to hear the message and be part of the worship and just a fellowship. The world doesn't have that. They can't have that. Their fellowship is unholy. So with us, 
we can enjoy the presence of God together and know that this world is not our home and that we're going to a better place. And one day this world will be gone and God's going to give us a new earth with his presence. And it's going to be awesome because the Bible says that the meek shall inherit the earth. So let them have their fun now. Let them have their prosperity. Let them have it all. Even as Noah in his day, everybody was parting. They were marrying. They were getting along. But Noah was preaching that there's a, there's a, a flood coming. And as we know, the flood came and all humanity died except for Noah and his family that was in the ark, which represents Christ. Are you in the ark of, of God? Are you, are you in Christ? If you are, then you're safe. Then don't act as though you belong to this world. If you're not saved, then you're not in the ark. Get saved. Get in the ark. And be safe. Have a wonderful and spirit-filled, glorious, kept day. God bless. Thank you.